Hi guys, Willie Davidson here. Today's topic is what I want to talk about guys is about my Makita tools that I've got and I've had for years, especially that drill there. It's an older style drill. I got new batteries for it. They're no original Makita batteries. For the price of one Makita battery, that's that size, I got, I, I can't even remember the brand. It doesn't have a brand on it, but you can read that, guys. I got two for the price of one, basically. But as I say, that's an older drill until I got my newer style. But as I say, I just keep this as a spare and it's got two batteries. As I say, it's a handy tool. Makita, 18 volt, guys. 18 volt. It's the 8391D, as I say, model. That's got on at 2012, the date. I don't know if you can read that. I'll bring it up closer. Okay. Right, so, that was the, my first drill. My first drill was a Bosch. It was a 10-volt Bosch drill, which was the blue-handled type Bosch one. Now, Bosch does, the all, even older ones, was green, the Bosch... Uh, colours on the natural drills but as I say the batteries went on that so then now that was years ago I replaced it with this because I always wanted I found that the 10 volt uh, drills just didn't uh, hear the power obviously your 18 volts had for screwing in nails and all that and that's when I bought that one that was the 18 volt one and I liked it but it still wasn't a screw gun if you get what I mean so, that got an upgrade. So, we'll lay this to the side, the new, okay? Lay, well, we'll lay it to this side. And we bought this. Now, this box has got an accessories bit on the top of it, which I found was amazing. It's just another, in fact, I'll open it. I'll let you see what's in it. Come on then. This is my, one of my main boxes. If I'm going away to do DIY somewhere or help somebody do something or screw a fence up or doing or work in a wee garage or something I take this box with me and it's got practically everything I roughly need in it you've got your two batteries as you can see the newer style that battery will no fit on that because that's the newer style okay I've got two of them one two the batteries have got power indicators on them yeah, she need a wee charge up it's been lying for a while as I say, that drill here, I'll put this back down, guys. See this drill here? I just put that clip on it. That's an older clip, but it's handy for clipping it onto your belt. You got one on that, but you never got one on that. So I just took the clip off the older drill and shoved it on there. So you can clip it on, can clip it on your belt. Right, so this is a 2000 the brightness is that focusing guys 2019 model dp dhp 453 is the model number of that one guys it's the exact same drill does the exact same thing it's just newer basically as i say i'll put the battery on it it's clips on that's it thing i like about this as i say Now, these guys are not brushless. They've got brushes in them, in the motors. So it's not a brushless drill. We've kind of not got that far yet. But I love these drills to bits. So I, I didn't see the point. For DIY, what I'm doing, I didn't need to go to the expense of getting brushless ones. So, as I say, you can compare them. Look. Very much the same, guys. Very much the same. Okay. Right. We'll forget about that one then. We want to talk about this stuff. The newer stuff. So, it's a 4... That'll be the 4000 DH uh, amp. 18 volt battery. Lithium. Lithium battery for it, guys. As I say, it's got the power indicator on it, right? Taking it off, you just click in that white bit and she pulls off. Okay. Stick that back in there. Just see that drill. 
it does your drill in, does screw in and hammer action. You've got your clutch settings on it. That works for when you're screwing, guys. Okay. So when you put your screw bit in, that you can't like over tighten or whatever you put the clutch set into it. I think that's a kind of torque. It goes a lot faster when, or gives it more power when you flick it between one and two. I'm sure the one is the faster one. If somebody can comment and tell me, as I say, correct us if we're wrong, as I say. That's a handy tool, as I say. I'll put it back in. Right, this is the reason I bought the box, because I've never had one of these before. Use this battery. Stick it on it, see what power's in this battery. Let's see how much juice she's got. Nah, she's full. It's a screw gun. And it's also... You see the light, guys? It's got a wee light on it. So if you're working in dark corners and cupboards, same date, 2019 model, DTD152. Okay? Let's see. 4.0 AH, 18 volt lithium battery on it. But this screw gun is a, it's a fantastic wee screw gun. I like it. It's got quite a wee bit of power in it for what I use it for. As I say, we're, doing, we're still the LXT model. Brush, it's got brushes in it. It's no brushless. Yeah. What you would do is take the two screws at the back, take the cap off. Then you get your brushes at each side if you had to replace them. Okay. Right, so we'll put this back in the new and I'll put the next thing I want to show you. In this box, what I carry is like in this wee tin here. small drills guys very small drills you see them very small drills you can never tell when you need to drill pilot holes or small holes before you sort of obviously make them bigger and it's as i say i carry these because they take up hardly any room we sit in there and don't bother anything in the box see how this is clipped i clip it actually on inside the box this thing here, turn that round, flick this up, and there you go. Now, that would have came when I got it new, with all different types of bits in it, but I've just put all your sort of Phillips sizes in it. Didn't go by the writing that's on inside that, because that's it's all different stuff that I've put in it now, but it's for all my screwdriver bits I've put in it. So if I need them, they're there. Okay. As I say, look at your different heads on them. As I say, that comes out. Okay. Clutch shut. Put that back round. And clip it on in there. Doesn't move, guys. This one's the same. Clips on there. Open this up. And what's in here? Texas torques. Okay, and you've got the ones with the holes in them, and the ones with the e security bits and that. You'll see there's quite a selection. You can see for yourself. Didn't go by some of the numbers on the box will not be right because I say there was all different things in that, but I've just focused on putting the same sort of style of stuff in each box. Okay. I carry that. Now I think you remember is they're not impact. So you need to watch when using the impact driver that you can break them. Because they're no impact. So uh, you can still use that to, to screw screws and that in. But on the impact you can use them but then you have it doing high impact work or you just you you snap them. You just break them. They're no designed for impact. It's softer. 
the impact bits are harder and they'll shear. This case here, right, this is quite popular. It's got all your, yeah, foam earplugs. You can never tell when you need earplugs, especially if you're in a confined area, guys. As I say, for like wee nuts, going on wee nuts and that, nuts and bolts, and they've got magnets in them. Okay, right, let's put this one. Set this down. Just set it there. Right, impact gun. Take it out. How you work it? Push that forward. Clip it in. Ah, we'll put a battery on it, guys. Me as well. Hate it working, eh? And as I say, see it turning. One way, other way. You see the light on it? You light. Like? As I say, brilliant for like if you're screwing uh, bolts into something quick, into a fence or posts or something. As I say, when you're also a thing I found, I see people doing when they're using drills, even drills with cables and that on them, drills motors are in there and they need to breathe. What a lot of people you do see is covering it and then drilling, right? If you continuously do that, what will end up doing is your drill will overheat and it'll probably damage itself, it'll probably burn itself out, but you'll probably feel it anyway getting hot. But the air holes on them are there for a reason and that's for to let your drill breathe, your motor breathe. Take in cool air to, so that the day if you're using them a lot they'll heat up and they need the air to get in. So try and devise a, devise a way so if you're screwing in something, I try, if I've got to put two hands on it, I feel that then you're over forcing the tool, you need a bigger tool if you're putting that kind of pressure on it. But I use one hand and if I've got to steady it, I'll put it, my hand, away from these holes because the drill needs to breathe or the screw gun or whatever you're using, guys. All right. So, same. We'll put this back in Put this in here. We'll talk about something else. All right. Just keep everything tidy. Always keep your stuff tidy, guys. If you're working with them and they get kind of dirty or that, keep your tools clean. Respect them. And they'll last forever. Keep them clean. Right. I'm going to leave that there. This thing, I'm sure it was screw fix. I bought it. It's just a cheap thing, but it's for putting screw bits. It, you put it in your drill, right? And you can actually screw up at angles into corners and that. Never really had to use it yet. See? See what I mean? Can you actually see that, guys? See it turning? So if my hand's a drill, you put that in your drill, right? And you can go up or into, in, again, like into tight corners, like say for instance, do it into there and screw that way. You wouldn't be able to do that with a drill or a tight gun, you'd be pointing down the way. So that's quite a handy wee thing. I don't know really, I wouldn't put it on the impact gun, I, I don't know if the impact side of it would probably bust all the inside of that. The bearings and that. I don't know if it's designed. I don't think it's designed for that. But for a drill without the impact settings, can without it impacting, just for screwing, it's probably fine. Okay, so you get the gist of what I mean by that. As I say, it's a handy wee tool, and you can turn that to different angles. And as I say, I just thought it was handy. Have in the box. You can never tell when you're going to need it. Right. That's another thing that will sit in a corner somewhere and not take up any room. Right, put this back on. Right. 
Obviously the joiners that suit there, I'll get them what that is. It's like a joiner rule, that is. It's a joiner rule, guys. You know what I mean? It's an old one. Goes up to a yard. You can see it. Yard. Okay, and it's quick and simple. Folds down to, well, that. I've also got, I mean, so I'll just take them out and show you them. It's a small one. It's only a wee thing. Just that down there now, guys. Just a wee, I call it a bead. Spirit level. Just a wee short one. Just say. If you're putting on sockets on the wall, or, as I say, sit that on top of it, and you can see, ah, that's flush. Okay. Small ruler. Takes you up to about 30 centimetres. It's oh, 12 inch. It's handy, guys. You can never tell when you've got to measure something. I'll stick that in there. And obviously, my permanent marker. Or a pen. Alright. Right, so. You see what's in there. As I say, they, they two items obviously work on all the same stuff. You've got one charger. And that'll charge the battery up. Uh, it charges it up, no problem. Brilliant machine. That's a DC 18SD. The charger. Okay. Right. Let's shut this box. And I want to talk about what's in the top here. In this accessory bit. I see that start. Right. It's got this bit, which I think is very handy. Very handy. Right. Now, well, you can see, basically. That's all your bits. Drill bits. Yep. Drill bits. Small ratchet there. Wee mini ratchet. A handy wee thing. Step drill. Yep. Start off with a hole small and then it gets bigger. Right. Further in you, you drill with that. Further in you go. The bigger the hole will get. That'll drill into metal, guys. You can drill it into plastic. I dare say you could drill into wood. It's not technically a, a wood drill, but a lot of your metal drills, you're not doing them any harm putting them into wood. But as I say, that's a step drill. That's a baby one. And that's a bigger one. Can you see the numbers? I don't know if the light, see if I do that. Is the light going across the numbers? That takes you up to a, is it a 32. And that one goes up to a uh, 20. I buy these out of all days. They're no dear ones, guys. They're not that dear. So if they do get Ken broken or anything, I'll just bin it and buy another one. Okay. The only thing you do to remember when you're drilling is make sure when it's going in that these bits get kept clear. That's what I'm going to talk about. Right, let's put this back in. See a drill bit, right? I'll take the biggest one, right? Put that in your drill. And mind I was talking about people forcing when they're drilling, try to force the drill into something, and you feel, oh, this isn't a cutting. It's no drilling. It's not going in any further. Even in wood. Now, this isn't a wood drill, but it would drill into wood. Okay? Wood drills have got wee tips, spikes coming out the front of them. I don't know how it's going in Handy to show you, but that can be another video. Anyway, it doesn't no matter. What's probably happened is, if you're drilling in with a wood drill, right, and you've went in so far, and you feel it's just spinning, but it's not wanting to go, this is, when you're drilling in, the, I'll call it the sawdusty kind of stuff, that it's drilling, comes up here and comes out the hole, so that it creates room for it to go further in. This has probably started to go solid and heat up and actually go hard in there. So it's like your drill isn't, but your drill bit, sorry, your bit isn't been able to sort of breathe to, to go further in to remove the stuff out the hole, if you can what I mean. And then this is when it'll start turning a bluey kind of, your drill bit, when it heats up, if it really heats up, it'll... Go, it'll change colour and then it'll just go blunt it'll, it'll no drill 
It would just be useless if it heats up. So what you've got to do is go in so far. If you feel it's not wanting to drill, go in any further. Even with metal, this is the same with metal. Take your drill bit out and get a wire brush and give these gaps a clean to keep the drill bit clear, clear, clear a sort of sawdust debris, right? <sighs> Blow in the hole and then back in you go. And then I'm guarantee you it'll go further in and start drilling more as long as as long as you haven't overheated and blunted your drill or hit a, hit a nail, obviously, or something to obstruct it doing what it's supposed to do. But that's a common mistake a lot of people do. Oh, why is this no drilling? Or I'll, I'll press on the drill and try and make it go in further. And it'll know because all you're doing is you've got to wreck your drill bit. Nine times out of ten, sometimes the drill bits, if they get that hot and you're forcing them and you just need to angle the drill a wee bit, it'll just snap. You don't want to do that. You don't want to damage, damage your drill bits. Okay? Just a wee tip. Anybody got else any other ideas about that? Comment below, guys. I'm only talking through experience of what I've seen and learned through the years of doing it. Is keep your drill bits clear if you're trying to drill. Take them out, get the sawdust out, get the metal out, whatever you're drilling, and then try again. And another wee tip with metal, if you're drilling into metal, is a wee bit of lubricating oil. See, once you do your centre punch where you're wanting a hole in the metal, do a wee tap with the hammer so you've got your wee dot to, for the drill bit to start, right? Put your drill on the wee dot and a wee bit of oil and it helps it grip for the drill bit to bite into the metal and start to drill. Okay? Just like a... I'll be honest you, I use WD-40 or if I have any penetrating oil or that, just get a wee scoosh and trust me, as long as your drill bit's sharp, she'll drill. She'll do the job. There's that many different types of drill bits, uh, oils that you can use, penetrating oils. As I say, I'm not a sponsor of WD-40, guys, but it's, it's a honey I use and I like it. As I say, that's your wee screw bits. All different sizes. As I say, they never go wrong. I see. There it's there. See, this is another thing I want to show you. Lay this out the road. Well, it's an extension bar. You can see that. It's a wee extension bar. See, look. And that's a what? 17 millimetre. And that'll go in. That'll go in my impact gun. Now, as long as they're impact rated, I'm not really sure about that. Might be. That'll go in that gun and that'll, but 17 mil bolts, that'll tighten them up. Alright, let's see, there are different sizes there. You get different ones of these. There's a smaller one, guys. There's obviously, again, the swivel that I can put on for them. Let's see, look. That's a smaller one. Let's see. They'll go in. Even in my drill, just my drill, 30 screw with the drill. Doesn't hate to go in the impact. There you go. Just in the drill, as I say. And then these ones here, let's see, they're just, that's a double-ended one. But you saw, he's seen them before, guys. You can what they are. As I say, it's just, that's longer ones to what I had in the, the box inside. Sometimes you just need that wee bit extra reach. I normally assess the jobs anyway before I go to them. So I can, if I need, if I've got stuff in here that's not enough, I'll take other stuff to go with it. But this is all one, like a one hand grab and everything's in there, eh? Right, put that drill there, there. Obviously, you can never hear enough screwdriver bits, guys, in case you end up snapping them. Right, these, these here. Right, I'll put that back on. You can see what it is. Impact driver bit set. 
kind of about a tenner or something, guys. No, these ones, right? The ones I put in. These ones with the wee rings round them. See the wee rings, guys? Them ones. I'll take a couple out. Their impact. And then they've got their sizes on them. These are impact rated. You can, I don't know if you can tell by the tip of eh, that one. We shiny bits. They've been used. Yeah, they're being used. Now, guys, they will damage through time. You only kid yourself. Oh, it's impact. They're going to last forever, eh? If you look after them, didn't you abuse them? They probably will. But, as I say, they're all, oh, even they ones as, as well that I added into it, they're off a, they weren't that mod, that type, that brand, I should say. But they are impact. I can't even remember what they're called, but they are impact rated, so they will work. Right. So put that there. Halfords. Yeah, I love Halfords tools, guys. As I say, that's for the screwdriver bits. As I say, I can even, you can even put them in it, guys, and make it pretty long, eh? So you can get into far to reach holes to get into screws. Okay. Put the ratchet and end it if you want. Yep. The wee ratchet. Just for a wee bit extra torque. Aye. Uh, this That's in the box as well. Never goes wrong. That in there. That in there. Let's see. That there. This is a wee thing. I'll take this out. Oh, I should stick that back in there. A wee bit of fidget here, guys. You get back in that wee hole. Right. Let's see. Look. This is so small, guys. You can put that in. Put a screwdriver bit in there. Right, we'll just say, say that, right? Pull that back. Right? See it? Put it back. Shove it in and that holds it. So see if you've got to put your hand in a drawer or away in the back of your car dashboard and you kind of get ratchets, big ratchets or whatever in and you need to put it up and reach and in. Great wee thing. Or, take that out. Take that out. Right. And that'll go in there. And look at that. You think of the space that that, that could get done and into for you. Again, I mean, look at the size of it. It's tiny. Tiny. And it's, look. Click that. And it goes the other way. And you can turn it with that wee round bit there too. It's amazing. It's amazing wee tool, guys. Let's see, you'll get them in the tool shops if you look for them. Put this back on the right way. Aye, but... There's never a bad tool, guys. It's doing the folk gazing them. And obviously, a pencil. It's not round, so... It won't roll off the table. That's why it's that shape. I don't know, what do you call them? Carpenter's pencils? Yeah. Brand on it. Can you see that? For steel. I see you fling it. And it'll just stop. It'll no roll. It'll no roll. Well. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Right. You, you get the gist of it. It's not supposed to roll. Alright. And that's basically it, guys. Um, no, it's no. I've got something else to show you. Right. So, we're talking Makita. Right. Let's shut this. Makita. Now, I've got the drill. I've got the screw gun, impact driver. The charger and batteries does both of them. So, what else could I add to that? Now, it didn't come in this box. This isn't a Makita box, obviously. Can you read that? I went out and bought the Makita grinder LXT. Cordless, 18 volt, 4.5 inch. And I've got discs in there as well. Now, I want to show you something before I open this box. I want to turn it round. Right. In the back of this box, can you see the screws and washers? Right. So these screws are drilled through 
and the washers is giving them extra support for what I've screwed them into inside the box. Check this out, guys. I'm just going to see what it's like sitting on top. I should be all right. Right? This was a box that I got to put my grinder and my cutting discs in, guys. Right? This was the box I used. Right. This box had a safety harness in it or whatever. Now, see the screws and the washers gone through and look what I screwed them into. Look what I screwed them into, guys. I screwed them into these, I drilled the wee bits of wood first, I sent a hole, punched a hole in the middle of these bits of wood and then drilled a very, one of my small drills, drilled a hole in it and then turned it round and then screwed the screws right into it to that so that it's fixed to the box so that it, just when that shuts, the lid shuts so that there's just a slight gap. You know what I mean? So when the box is shut, and they wouldn't fall off anyway in the box. But that was the method in my madness, guys. Eh, Ken. It is quite tight. I mean, it didn't be wrong. Didn't get me wrong, guys. They're quite. Uh, they will come off. They will come out. I'm well, just not be doing a hoil. I see. They're the cutting discs. Right, I'll just leave them. Just. But you get you get the gist of how I done it. See if I was using this every day, that wood would wear and get slightly thinner. They really did slide on, as I say. They've no, they've not been off in a while, eh? And that's probably why they're a wee bit tight. But as I say, they go on. Put it on that one. Oh, that does help. Eh? You find a hole and push it down. Okay. I see these ones are maybe a wee bit more free. I didn't use my diamond tip cutting this very much. As I say, I thought that was just a good idea. I did it first, just hear them lying in the box, loose. But what was happening was, they were all getting mixed up and just coming across and they were going to end up marking my grinder. And I like to keep my stuff looking good, eh? Ken, if you can look after it, eh? Then they hear me it. Look after your tools. So I says, how can I do that? I says, right, I'm going to get dowel ones inside the box, screw them in, secure them. And get them in there. So the only thing that's kind of rattling about is these. Now that's the guard that obviously goes on it. Onto the grinder. The handle for tightening the blade on. And the screwdriver that I had separate. And that's for again, tightening that onto the grinder. Okay. Now a lot of folk, they use these grinders and they didn't bother about putting safety guards on. I would say... Use the safety guards and goggles all the time because a spark for that in your eye, it will take your eye out, guys. And you don't want to lose an eye. Weight-wise, it's all right. Now, this is brushless. Uh, no, it's got brushes. Sorry, it's got brushes. It's the same as the other ones. It's not brushless. Right? What dates on that? 2019, guys. DGA452 18 volt. Okay, and it's obviously Makita. Power wise, as I say, I've got is it the 4000 batteries that's in that box. This thing, if you're going to use it heavy, guys, will chow batteries. Oh, yes. The drills and the What's in that box is brilliant with the batteries, but you start using the batteries on this, you better hear the other one charging up because this, depending on what you're cutting, it will flatten it. You'll get a bit of cutting done, but these munch grinders, battery grinders, especially this one, will munch batteries. So, what, I've watched plenty of videos on YouTube about these and they recommend you start for like a 5,000. But as I say, I didn't have a 5,000. And I didn't plan on doing a lot of heavy cutting with it. If I am going to be doing heavy cutting with a grinder, I'll use a 240 one. 240. As I say, that this, we've been over here in Scotland, this is 240. It's no like, I don't know, what is it in America or what? Or, or, it's, as I say here, it's 240. The charger is a 240 charger. You're plugged into the wall over here. Um... As I say, one of the batteries, it's the exact same as what's on 
the, in the boxes so it works on the same batteries yeah it's, and that must be the where the brushes go i take it it will be as i say i should hopefully get a good life out of it before i hate to change anything like that but as i say i've used this quite a few times and i love it it's not that heavy it's a wee bit see the way i'm holding it in you because the battery's no on it it's a wee bit nose heavy but see once you put the battery on it it kind of equals the weight out i would say but if it does start to struggle this machine that light starts to blink red so you can when to back off sort of hang get a break kind of hang it struggles right but apart from that there's nothing much else i can say guys i'm sure that was about 80 90 quid the brushless ones you could probably i don't know i've not looked at them lately but you might add an air 40 quid onto that easy i could be wrong guys if you check i could be wrong but as i say i'm quite happy with this as i say you can put that there there as i say it's quite self-explanatory keep them clean to the best that you can look after them and the last um i try to think if there's anything i've missed i'm not really got the, i mean this is us up to 36 minutes now guys i'm not what i go to the extent of showing you them working in that as i say it's works all perfectly fine you get the gist of it there's videos on youtube that you can see them working as i say this isn't brushless they're the old older era sort of makita tools and i would buy these again in a minute i would aye i like them as i say it's only diy stuff i'm doing if it was professional work yeah well they are professional tools eh i mean even that one how old that one is and it's still going strong or right, i had to replace the batteries um but the batteries didn't last guys right the thing i was want to show you i need to move the camera this drill right in fact i'm going to take guys i'm going to take the phone out of the stand just hang on the new i'm using my new iphone guys that i've been waiting on i can find the button my iphone 13 Pro Max, guys. Yep, I'll show you it. Look, iPhone 13 Pro Max. What a machine! Right, see that drill that I was showing you? There's a charger for it up there. I've got it up in the wall, guys. See what I mean? That old, really old drill, I just leave it. I just leave it in the shed. I've got two batteries, the battery in it, the drill just lies in that corner there so i'll put it and show you just a wee shed guys but I'll just see that sits there i've got a box with my walkie stuff there hanging up that red box my walkie fans will recognize it and that's the charger for it so see if i'm just pluttering about in here doing stuff that's what i'll use as i say but this one that's in this box and that. That's my mobile one. I'll take with me when I go places. So as I say, you get the gist of how I screwed them in. Fill up and underneath with the washer. And it holds them and you can put... They didn't rattle about, guys. See if you're taking them away somewhere. I mean, cordless is designed to be transported, eh? You didn't want cutting discs and all that. Diving about the place and that. You know what I mean? They're in a box and... They're fine they're fine guys see the screws okay so back to this as i say thanks for watching guys i just wanted to chat about these i've got other tools i need to do videos on but as i say this one i get when i'm going to do these jobs this is what i take as i say i just grab it make sure that's clip shot by the way because see if it's no and you up and that opens everything will fall out of it <laughs> i've never done it yeah as i say that and that and i'll take them with me if i'm doing any wee jobs or helping somebody doing stuff and it's fine just remember carry a set of goggles for your eyes if you're using a grinder and a drill you could say if it's in a enclosed area or whatever yep and i've got mine there there they're all there all my goggles 
and all that if I need them okay right guys if you like this video that's 40 minutes I'm not going any longer like subscribe and uh, share if you want guys as I say just a wee chat on Makita stuff the books that I carry about in years and I'll uh, hope you've all had a good day I'll catch you on the next one take care now bye bye